Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are going to do um, the 2008 Science Physics Practical. Now this one is quite an, an interesting one because it's a moment kind of device over here. There's a pivot over here. <coughs> then you can see that the spring balance pulls upwards at this point while the mass pulls downwards at this point. Let's take a look at what it's about, alright? So we're going to confirm the mass of the ruler. They're going to obtain the value for acceleration due to gravity G. That's pretty cool, right? Okay. So the first thing we do, right, is we need to copy the mass of the ruler from the side of the ruler in the space provided below. So, usually your school should have something like this, okay? Can you see it? It's about 98.7 grams. Let's take a look and let's write it down, okay? So writing it down, 98.7 grams. All right. So next, we'll set our prices as shown below. Okay, so we place the pivot pin in the hole at a 30 cm mark at the ruler. Can you see a pin over there? And also, um, there's a cord that is attached to this. Then this one, make sure it's horizontal like this. Then next one, we will make sure that the spring balance is located always at the 90 cm mark over here. So this one always stays here and doesn't move. Now, the thing that moves is this thing over here, which is this pin over here, uh, we hang it at 65 for the first number and then uh, it pulls down like this, okay? And then this one will move, sort of, and then we will manipulate the setup as shown, okay? So, in this case, what you're supposed to do, right? Um, at first, when, after you set everything, then we will record down the value of the force that is read on the uh, spring balance. So let's take a look over here, okay? So for this one, it is about I would say it's about 0 0.90. Let's write it down. Okay, so the first force, 0 0.90 newtons. Okay, that was easy enough. So the next thing we need to do, right, is to move the slotted mass so that it is at a 55 cm out of the ruler. So the value of x will now become 25 cm. Let's do that. All right, okay, so this one, we're gonna move it over to 55. So the distance over here is 25 cm. You can see that it moves slightly because the um, clockwise movement provided by the mass is slightly less because it has reduced the distance. So what we've got to do is to reduce the height of this bar over here. Okay, so then now it is, well, okay, rise it a bit, you know. Okay, <clears throat> so once we have this, I mean, have seen that it's approximately level, okay? Then we look at the mass. Um, sorry, we look at the spring balance again and see. Oh, wow. It has changed a little, hasn't it? It's become about, let's say, 0 0.74. I think it is. Okay, let's record it down. Yeah, so then we continue shifting it. The next one is um, 15. So 15 cm would be at a 45 cm mark over there. It's still kind of level, so I'm just going to leave it for now. You can see that it has changed to about 0 0.57. Interesting. And then after that, it goes to 5, then minus 5, and minus 10. So what does minus 10 mean? It means you take this bar over here, okay? And then you shift it over to this side, which is minus 10. That one was positive, so this one is negative. So for the 30 minus 10 would become 20. So we're going to shift it here. Will it fall? I don't know. Will it fall? Oh, it does not fall. That's pretty great, huh? Okay. So obviously there's some shifting that it has to go on. So we're going to shift this up. Okay. And then it's approximately level, I think. All right, then we take a look at the spring balance. And oh, wow, it has become... 0 0.16 All right, so we're gonna write it down over there 0 0.16 All right, then after that then you repeat the whole cycle again and get the second force Yep, then you get an average force and then you draw a graph of that speed and that's how you do this practical so and So that was it. Thank you all very much for watching. That was the 2008 Science Physics, whatever, ready to go. Bye. -bye.